So if you're watching this video, you already know that Functional Tennis have released a new version of their popular fence mount. Now the fence mount allows you to attach your phone or another camera to a very high position on a fence or something similar. I've used the previous version of the fence mount for a couple of years now and I've absolutely loved it. It's been an amazing tool for my content creation and for filming myself playing competitively and my players during training sessions. However, it does have its limitations and the new version has had some great updates which I'm going to talk you through and I'm also going to show you how to set it up. So one of the biggest changes that Functional Tennis have made to their fence mount is the initial size of it. As you can see, the old fence mount is considerably bigger than the new one. The new one itself can actually fit into any tennis bag or any rucksack. You could actually remove this hook part to make it even more compact. But what makes this even better is the fact that it goes much, much bigger than the previous version. Using these four clips, you can simply open them up slide it open and close them again and because there are four of them this new fence mount can become incredibly big as you can see here if i stand it next to me it's much taller than myself and i'm five foot ten so it's over six foot and this extended reach allows you to hang the fence mount on much taller fences allowing you to get more of an aerial view of the court. As well as the adjustment to its size, it has a new foam grip, which is much more comfortable, and you can actually use this if you wanted to as a selfie stick. It's also got some really cool functional tennis detailing shown here on the grip, but also up at the top on the hook. The hook itself is also improved. It's got a much larger gap here if you're hanging over a quite a chunky metal bar on top of a fence or it's got a smaller part if you're hanging over a curtain or a much thinner fence. And if you want a more sturdy grip on the top of the fence, you can clip it into this section here. The phone attachment is very similar to the last version. It's got this spring-loaded mechanism allowing you to attach any phone into it, again, with some elastic attachments to keep it nice and secure. I can fit my iPhone in place like so, but it also comes with this attachment for a GoPro or an action camera so you clip it on exactly the same as you do the phone mount when it arrives in the box it comes in three very simple parts this hook part actually comes separate from the main pole and the camera or phone attachment also comes as separate and you can just unscrew it like so and tighten it so once you've attached your camera be sure to hit play before you set it up and just walk over to the fence you're going to hang it up in your chosen position. I've got the camera on front facing camera so I can see the view. Um, you can play around with the angle by tilting it from side to side. And once you've got it in place, you've actually got these Velcro attachments, which you can attach to the bottom of the fence mount to attach it to the fence to make sure that the wind or the balls hitting the fence doesn't wobble the camera position. As you can see, this fence is a standard fence size and I've actually only used two of the clips to extend the pole. It's got a further two that you can use so you can really extend it to a super high fence. So that was a whistle stop tour of the functional tennis fence mount. Let me know in the comments below if you've got any further questions and me or Fabio from Functional Tennis will get back to you. Take care.